Well, Computer Report readers and viewers to another edition of What's Cooking. I am your host, Mark Cook. Get it? Cooking? Got it. You it's like good. that? I like it. We're here with Mr. David Spade, star of Joe Dirt 1 and Joe Dirt 2. Who's this guy? Come on, Joe Dirt. It's years ago. All right, we, we, we just got to get to the bottom of it and we'll forget about it. When, when Hard Knocks came out and that came out, what, what was the reaction? We know your mom wasn't a big fan of it, but what was your thoughts? I was so angry. No, I'm kidding. I wasn't bad. You know, I liked it. The, the fans kind of took to it, and uh, when they'd see me around, they would, you know, call me Joe Dirt and everything. So it was just a way for them to kind of talk to me, so it was pretty cool. And, and I noticed you got rid of the mullet. I did. You finally shaved that off. Was Probably that because too. you were tired of the Joe Dirt? Were you tired of the Joe Dirt references? I was tired life? of it, so I had to cut it off. I, I did something. And when I saw you with the new haircut last year, I said to yourself, you'll be amazed at how much money you will shave in save in shampoo. Oh, so much. It's, you used to have to do like two handfuls. Yeah. Now you used to do like a little piece of I do pay for more haircuts now, though, so that's a bad thing. <laughs> that's true. How long did that hair grow, by the way? That was at least two I years. I went four years without a haircut. Wow. Yeah, I just let it go. Now, Everybody knows Riley played for the Michigan Wolverines. Not even close. Well, it is kind of close. It's kind of close, but very different. <laughs> By the way, Michigan State, obviously. It must pain you to see the success that, that Michigan's having this year. Well, it doesn't pain me just because we beat up on them so bad for so many years. <laughs> but, you know, they're a, you good, bad for they're a good team uh, this year, and hopefully next year Michigan State can rebound and, and beat them. Harbaugh. I, you know, I probably shouldn't say anything. He could be your coach five years from now, so we better not talk too bad about him. He may watch this show, but between you and I, we really don't like him. Blink twice if you agree. I got no comment. One, two blinks. It's all two blinks yeah. right there. Okay, now I get it. He's a rival coach. I get that. All right, we're going to get to the cooking part of things here now because this is the most important thing. This is a very serious cooking show, as you can see by this outfit here. First of all, do you cook? I do. All right, we're going to yeah. get to that in a second. But when you were growing up, Came home from school, you were wearing your little Sparty hat, you know, because I'm sure you're a Michigan State fan your whole life. When you were coming home and you smelled dinner on the stove and you got so excited because it was your favorite meal, what was it that was your favorite meal? Well, my mom cooked every night and there was four of us, so she was always in the kitchen. But one thing we always loved is she made these salmon sandwiches that she would make and we would have them like twice a week sometimes. Well, were they the salmon time. patties or was it like literal cuts of salmon? Little fillets of salmon. Wow. Put them in between. And you and you and you had. Don't worry about us, Trevor. We're good. No, you good. All right, it's Trevor second. <laughs> so there were salmon cuts. Had them like on a bun. So it was like down here we eat grouper sandwiches. You guys were having. Yeah, them. same thing. Yeah. Is there salmon in Michigan, or was this flown in from Alaska? No, there's salmon in Michigan. There's a lot. Really? Yeah. Okay. Salmon in Michigan. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. Thought he was maybe it was Alaska. By the way, we started off doing this show in the kitchen. They kicked us out of there. Then we started doing it outside of the kitchen. They kicked us out of there. Then we were doing it out on the field and they kicked us out of there. So we've officially moved into just the regular media lobby. Pretty soon we're gonna be out in my car in the parking lot. So you, you got lucky, you got in before they kicked us out in the yeah, car. Out of those 53 guys in that locker room, who are you trusting to cook you a killer romantic meal? Man, I gotta go with Fitz. Probably, he's about 50 years old, so he's got a lot of experience under his belt. He's got a bunch of kids, so I'm sure he can put. You realize you're gonna get hot dogs and mac and cheese because he's got like 14 <laughs> kids. <laughs> no. It's gonna be like you're at camp when you were a kid. Yeah. It's gonna be camp food. But it'll be on time. It'll there'll be enough food. So Will you just... make him wear a hairnet for his beard though? Yeah. Because when you're eating your pork and beans, you don't want to find. Yeah, he's got that long. He's end. definitely got to service the food and <laughs> clean everything up. Make him wear a butler outfit too yeah. with that long beard. That would definitely. be awesome. All right, so Fitz is cooking for you now. If Riley's at home. And you want to impress the lady with a home cooked meal. What is it that you're throwing on the grill or on the stove or in the oven? Your go to steaks to are impress. always a go to. Yeah. I like to cook chicken fajitas. Um, really all the simple stuff. Burgers I'll throw on the grill too. Any of that stuff. When you when you do your burgers, is it uh, just regular ground beef? Do you go exotic with like some bison? Uh, Kobe, what, what kind of beef are we, are we talking about here? I have gone crazy. I've went and bought elk burgers once. I've done the bison. I've done it all. But if I'm having a girl over, I'm not trying to freak her out. So I'm just going to get the normal normal ground beef. Now, you're from Michigan. A lot of deer in Michigan. Are you a venison guy? I'll have venison. I don't really hunt. A lot of my friends do. But if, if it's around, I'll eat it. Yeah, very good. It's my favorite, by the way. Very lean. Yeah. Very high protein. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. Now we're down to the most 
important question of the entire thing. Good shot of his socks there. Those are pretty cool. Clean. How much do those cost? I like a pair of those. These are from the training or, huh. or equipment room. Maybe so. you could like, maybe yeah. sneak a pair out. Got gotcha. you. All right, cool. Most important question, and this has nothing to do with cooking. We've alluded to a lady friend. And if you have a girlfriend, we're going to be in so much trouble before the show's over. But who's your celebrity crush? And if you don't want to get in trouble right now, maybe your celebrity crush when you were younger. Maybe you were a teenager. I'll say it's Megan Fox. All day. You kidding me? Can I get a high five on that one? Yes. I don't know. Did you ever watch 90210 when you were younger? I never did. All right. Well, apparently she married like one of the nerd kids on that show. David, I think was his name. No matter what you look like and how nerdy you are, it's always possible that you could end up with a Megan Fox. I told you I was going to pay you for being on the show because that's the only way we can get you on here. I think I lost my money. Where's the money at? Got the Van moment. yet? I have the money, don't worry. There it is. <laughs> now, I wanna, I wanna thank you for being on the show. I know that we had to bribe you. And uh, so I wanna go ahead and give you this if I can unfold it here. I'm not used to carrying around this big of a bill. Sorry. For Riley Bulla. I could buy dinner for with you. that. Yeah. I'm going to date. <laughs> you may be able to hire Fitz for that. <laughs> you may be able to get Megan Fox to come yeah, on exactly. for dinner. In all seriousness, if you watch the show and you retweet the show, what we're going to do, Riley's going to sign this $100 bill. Make no mistake, federal government, this is not real. It's not counterfeit. We bought this at a costume store. We're not trying to counterfeit. It's not even green. Riley's going to sign it. And then we are going to give it away to one lucky viewer of What's Cooking. Riley, appreciate it, my right. friend. Thanks for joining yeah. us. Thanks for Good luck me. with everything. Hopefully Joe Dirt 3 is successful as the first two. Hopefully. Did you see the second one? I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like the second one either. It was it was bad. Thank you for watching another edition of What's Cooking with Mark Cook and our main man, Mr. Michigan Wolverine slash Sparty. Just kidding. Yeah, Sparty. <laughs> Michigan Wolverine. I did it again. The Spartan, Mr. Riley Bullock.